The White Lady's Picture House at Clifton, a suburb of Bristol, was built by Mr. J. Davis. He purchased a disused nunnery, retained the building as a frontage, and built his picture house in part of the nunnery garden. At one end of the building, he built a tower and embossed the name of the cinema in the cement. The cinema also had a dance hall, and alongside the entrance was the restaurant. In 1966, this restaurant was converted into a kind of old-fashioned Dickensian saloon, which was called Dick Turpin's Tavern, the forerunner of ABC's painted wagons that were to become the vogue for a few years. The interior of the cinema seated 1,320 and seemed far more old-fashioned than the exterior. There seemed to be a great deal of Victorian-type decorative plasterwork, although the cinema only dates from the early 1920s. There are many fancy scrolls on the wall buttresses, and the whole of the auditorium, in keeping with all ABC properties at the time, is very pleasantly decorated and seated. At one time, the White Ladies was the 70 Mill Roadshow House for Bristol, and in 1962, the cinema was substantially renovated. White Ladies is a strange name for a cinema. The name is derived from the nursing order of nuns who occupied the original building, dressed in white, and the road in which the nunnery stood became White Ladies Road. John Maxwell, did acquire a city centre cinema in Bristol, and this was the King's Cinema. It does not seem to have been a converted theatre, for there was no fly tower nor stage facilities. The cinema was filled with atmosphere, but was a very strange building. There was a low-slung circle that extended right to the back wall of the property, and the ceiling was almost semicircular in section. The projection box was above the circle and was difficult to reach. The interior of the cinema was painted in very dark colours and the whole interior was very dark. The King's Cinema was held in great affection by the locals who were sorry when it was eventually closed and demolished. Of interest is that it was immediately opposite the King's that ABC intended to erect their new Regal in 1938. The scheme failed to materialise, and today the proposed cinema site is occupied by part of a Bristol newspaper building. Also in Bristol, John Maxwell operated the 1,388-seat Triangle and the 1,175-seat Van Dyke at Fishponds.